taking this one. This is a gourd, a crown of thorns. Yes. And it must have the name on here. Does it have a this name? This says uh, gourd pure, pure white. white. <laughs> it is pure white, this gourd. Yes, and this one is the crown of thorns, and it, it really has these little, these little points on it. Mm -hmm. So these will make very pretty candles. Yes. And so the, this is the top of the candle. Okay. That's where the wick will come out. And we have screwed. You can just make these little stands um, yourself. And you're going to screw them into the base of whatever object you want to make a mold out of. So if you want to make a mold out of, uh, oh, like, oh, this would be a beautiful candle, mm. too. It's best if it has sort of like a, a straight a neck. Great, like this would be fabulous. A great fun shape. Yeah. yeah. That would be a beautiful candle. Oh, did uh, I screw it in too much? Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, you don't have to go that far down. Oh my gosh. It was, it was, it was. Don't worry. I'm don't jittery worry. from standing next to now, you. Now, best. So stick that down in okay, there. There you this go. This is a perfect size container. It won't use up too much mm -hmm. of the mixture uh, that we're the uh, the mold mixture. Now tape this down because otherwise it might tend to float up. Right. So this will keep it secure in the mixture. Now here's the stuff. This is rubber compound, mm -hmm. and this is called um, Umu 30. And you have to mix the blue, pour that in, with the pink. Okay. This is, look at these two get mixed together. I, I love, love this. I love this. Yep. And they will pour, pour the whole thing. Just let it. Let Where it. would I get the rubber compound? Oh, this comes from a really great place, smoothon.com. Okay. And this costs $22. And uh, make sure you get all of it out. Yeah, just keep shaking it out. Look at that. That is gorgeous. It looks pretty, yeah, but it's, uh, it's the combination of these two that make the mixture that will harden in the uh, exact correct manner for, wow, this stuff takes a long time to come out. So you need the two of them together to make, to harden, to yes. form the right consistency. Yes. There, okay. There, that's oh done. Now stir. Hurry, Martha's waiting. <laughs> now start stirring with your rubber spatula. Okay. And you have to really mix it up. It's good to pour it at the same time because the blue tends to be a little heavier than the pink. You're right. You're it sinks down right. into the bottom, and then you uh, have a little bit of a problem. You really want to incorporate it. It takes a little while. So is it fun being with Regis every single day? It really is, but we never do fun arts and crafts like this. <laughs> um, it really is. He's you talk. A, you talk. He's That's a great. wonderful man. We really get to um, have great conversations with each other and he's got the best show business stories he's oh. the world's greatest storyteller oh. as you know one of my favorite stories is when he went to a dinner party at your house on the wrong night oh my <laughs> my christmas party your christmas party he yes. showed up on saturday it was on sunday i was in my apron and the doorbell rang and it's some pretty far out of the road from the, from mm -hmm. the doorbell you know and so he it rang and he and i answered and he says it's regis i said oh how great come on in i didn't I didn't know why he was coming a day early, right. but uh, but he came a day early. They were all dressed up. Yes. Oh my God! His wife was in her fur coat. But he said that he you was, were so lovely and you fed I, them. And I you, did. I gave them all. <laughs> but they couldn't come the next day, which really pissed me off because I wanted to. Sh <laughs> I wanted to show them off to my friends that I knew Regis Philbin, and so it ruined the whole thing. He doesn't know that you know my friends never believed that he was coming in the first place. So then it was even worse. The story is you know the story. He's no good. But you know, that story, when he told me that story, I actually had, I suffered from a panic attack and went to bed for the rest of now the day. Now just pour it into here just to make okay. sure that you see that it's really mixed, okay? Okay. We don't trust the first picture. I can't believe that he missed your Christmas party. <laughs> so did you ever invite him back again? Uh, no. <laughs> Is it sort of like a one strike and you're out? No, no, no. I probably haven't had a Christmas party since then. So, but I am going to have one this year, and I will invite him this year. And and yes. if he's not available, you know, I'm. Awesome you're available. Yeah. You can come. I will definitely invite you. Chances are, I'll probably show up anyway. You know how I am. Oh yeah, that's okay. We How's would love to have you. Okay, now, now pour this very carefully into this quart container. Okay. And now these are just recycled deli containers. Just pour it in. It will go all the way around. You don't want a lot of bubbles in it because you don't want any defects. You want this to be a perfect mold. And is there a, a special technique to get the bubbles out? Well, it, it, it will settle. You'll okay. see. It, it, it settles. I don't, yours does not look too bubbly, and neither does mine. If you whipped it with a whip, it would get too bubbly. 
So, so are you all thinking, the way up are you to thinking the top. that maybe an internship is possible for me here? Uh, you know what? I would be thrilled to have you as an intern. Really? Oh, yes. I think everybody here would because of enthusiasm. You know, it's when you're a crafter or a cook or you or just a design, you know, you want to you want to learn. That's the kind of people we want to have. Well, I've got to tell you that now the pay is not really as great as uh, there is the, no you know, pay being required. With Fortunately, I have another job, so I would work here for free. Um, but you know, I think what's so satisfying about your your craft projects is that when you follow when you follow the instructions, they really do turn out the way you say Good, they will. Thank you. I, I hope so. When you release it, it looks like this. You have to cut the mold off, and then you cut through the side and around just to the center of the bottom. And look what happens. The mold comes out. And that's oh my gosh, the mold. mold. It's a mold. I really think Isn't it's Isn't that incredible? beautiful? This yeah. is the mold. It's, it's very pliable. And it's... Uh, you, reusable. You can make many, many candles in a mold like this, and it's just fantastic. Now we're going to put the mold after we've we've opened it up. We have mm -hmm. to put our wick in. Okay. This is a typical wick, okay, uh, and perfect for beeswax. These are the beeswax pellets that we've been melting. Mm -hmm. Pure, 100% smell. Doesn't that smell good? Oh yeah, that See, is really nice. I, I don't like scented candles so much, mm -hmm. but I love the smell of pure beeswax. It's really a nice smell. So the the wick has to be put into um, wax before okay. into the melted wax before you try to use it because uh, you want it nice and rigid and straight. The whole thing. Yeah, no, it's okay. You, you have it okay. just right. So just right. just like that, and then we put the wick right in the center of the mold and let it come out the bottom. Let it come out oh like like two inches or so. Two inches. Okay. So it's going to be right in the middle of the gourd candle. Did it come out? Oh my out? gosh, please obey. <laughs> Here, that's good. Yeah. Great. So now we're going to put this right back into the plastic container. Okay. That will hold it upright. And Great. Then the mold, the, so you want the wick to come up in the center mm -hmm. of the candle. So take this little stick and wrap the wick around a couple times and make sure that it is coming up right in the center and just leave it right like that. Perfect. Yep. Great. So now we, you can uh, turn your stove off and take your melted wax. This is uh, the beeswax with a little bit of color added. Now these color squares, they, they're available in many different colors. We've chosen a nice dark reddish and brownish palette um, and a golden palette. So you can just put your color square right into mm -hmm. your wax, let it melt. And then we're going to, oh, I love the deep fall, fall colors. Yeah, I can't believe how much easier this is Oops. than you would think. Oh, making candles is, is uh, not so difficult. And making your own molds isn't so difficult. Once you master this, Kelly, you can start making gold jewelry because it's the same kind of making a mold, pouring in gold. And then one day I'll be interning here. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the best idea. <laughs> Okay, so if you, we don't have time really to melt okay. any more color in there. And now just pour carefully right into the mold. And you let it stay until it is completely hardened all the way up to the very, very top. Oop. Went over a little bit, but it's going to shrink just slightly, so that's okay. okay. Yep, that's perfect. Ah! Excellent. So you have a lot of melted wax. You can do a whole lot more candles. Yes. Let this harden, and here we have one that's already hardened. You unfurl the wick, okay, and pop out your gorgeous candle. Oh, ah, isn't that I the can't cutest thing? It's so great. I love it. It's now, I, now I, I thought I had a pair of scissors. Where are our scissors? Do you have scissors in this drawer? Mm. No. Mm. Do you have a scissor? Okay, well, we need a scissor just to trim the wick to about an inch and trim off the bottom wick, and then this will stand very nicely right on the, um, in a candle stand or on the table. Oh, thank you, thank you. And when you light these candles, they burn for quite a long time. They are very pretty to look at. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're gorgeous. Aren't they? I can't believe we did this.
And you can have a, are you going to be entertaining at Thanksgiving at your house this year? Actually, no, we're, we're going to um, be taking the show to the Bahamas. So we'll be in the Bahamas, but oh. I will burn these when I get home. Oh, well, you're going to have fun. <laughs> you're going to have fun in the Bahamas. Yeah, we will. I'm sure we'll you'll have a, a turkey time. dinner for